All right, guys, I'm going to do a uh, 30 days of strict as I can be ketosis and starting today. And today is September the 5th of 2017. So I have done ketosis before. Ketosis is uh, not extremely hard to do. It's, it seems to be a very satisfying way to eat. And I'm vegetarian, but for when I'm in ketosis, I do pescatarian, which includes it's vegetarian that does meat, not meat, fish, egg, and cheese. So I'll be doing fish, egg, and cheese during this next month of strict ketosis. I'm going to post the results and kind of log this video. Um, I might make like a long video, like a 30-day video that shows what progress I made, S like some stats and everything just so you can see how well I did as, as well as what I ate, how many calories I ate. And I'll log it very faithfully, <clears throat> at least for the 30 days, and uh, see how it goes. I It's really early in the morning. I just woke up. It's 6 o'clock in the morning. I got up at 4.30, and um, I'm sleepy, and I have my coffee with me, which that's what you do. Coffee's kind of like a big part of the keto thing, so here's my coffee. But anyways... I'll be documenting all that and kind of tracking my activities and hopefully it'll be enlightening for some of you guys that have asked me about keto in the past. Um, anyways, I, I think I'll do well. If you're thinking about doing a ketogenic program, I would definitely look into it and I would um, maybe speak to your doctor. I know they always say that, speak to your doctor, but it is, it's good for most people, but there's a few conditions which I'm not a doctor so I don't want to talk to you about it but there's a few conditions that it's not good for so make sure you always check in with your health provider good luck all right so here's a shot of my body at the beginning of my 30-day experiment with keto and just for visual gotta make some improvements so I, uh, today was my first day of getting back on strict ketogenic diet and I, I felt really good all day until tonight. This is about 7 o'clock at night. I've been up since 4.30 this morning and I've had I think 50 grams of carbs if I've calculated correctly for the whole day and that's about where you want to stay, 50 grams or under and I am, I mean I feel totally exhausted, like I'm, I'm beat. I was out trying to spend some time with my girlfriend and uh, <clears throat> went fishing and it just didn't feel good like I felt really weak and tired and I feel weak and tired right now like I'm almost ready to go to bed and it's only about 7 30 but I did get up really early but still you'll, you'll expect this on your first when you're transitioning over to uh, not using sugar and using fat it'll make you tired and you'll feel like it's just feel like crap I might even feel flu like tomorrow they have what's called the keto flu but I'm gonna report everything good and bad so this is the first day I may end up condensing this too I don't know but I'm pretty tired I've had about 1800 calories today I'm gonna to, um, take pictures of my weight and my body fat measurements I've got a fat electrical fat reader so I'll get those in here too so I just did this it's set to my specific height weight age sex etc Shows me at the beginning of this at a 29.9% fat and a BMI of 32.3. Not good. So we'll see where it's at at the end of this 30 days. Also, here I am. My weight at the start of this project. It's always a little heavier toward the end of the day though because I've eaten, but it's 228.4. We'll see where it is at the end of the 30 days. So today is the second day of uh, my strict ketogenic diet. I've had about 50 grams of carbs today, and I'm not going to have any more. That's about the limit of where I want to be. I might have a little more because I'm going to do that broccoli, a steamed broccoli in the evening for fiber so that I'll go to the bathroom regularly. But I feel like crap. Like I'm, I'm out of energy, and I feel semi-depressed, and I just want to... I'm, I've eaten a can of sardines and two cheese sticks because I think that I'm hungry, but I'm not hungry. I just, my body's craving the shit out of carbs and it's making me want to eat anything. The struggle's real. 
I'm in day three of ketosis. I've not switched over, the body hadn't switched over yet, and I still feel emo and crappy and kind of depressed, low energy, and I, I don't feel like doing anything, barely, to go to the store. This should be the last day, usually about three days, that you feel just this shitty. And I actually picked up some Michelob Ultra, which only has 2.9 carbs and about 100 calories for the bottle. And I'm going to have two of those. Just, it's been a shitty, shitty day at work, and I'm really feeling so crappy from the ketosis transition. And so I, I know that I haven't made the video about drinking yet. If I have, then you understand. If I haven't, you'll learn soon enough. Because I'm going to do a video about that too, but it's been a shitty day, and I feel like crap. It's day four, and I'm still pretty tired. Like, I still feel low energy, low mood. I've done this before and it's it's always temporary. Eventually your body switches fully over, but I just feel like crap. Hope it happens soon. It's day five and I'm feeling good today. I actually went to the gym and worked out. I felt motivated enough to do that. Um, I'm cooking my post-workout meal right now. And here it is. Let's see if we can I'm sauteing some spinach, and I have four fried eggs right there. And I use this coconut oil. This is actually organic refined coconut oil. And I've got some, this is actually plant-based meat, some vegan meat, but it's very low carbs. So, yeah, five days, and I think I'm past the emo stage. So there's always, it, it takes a while to get over that hump, but I'm starting to feel good. I just had a meal of four eggs and an avocado. I'm really, really full. It was good. Hit the spot. I put spices and salt and stuff. Um, this is what the sixth day of being on the ketogenic diet and I'm feeling pretty good, pretty stable now. It took about this long. So, so far so good. Um, I've got keto sticks measuring my ketosis, level of ketosis, and some days it says really in there and some days it says pretty light. So I don't know the factor that brings randomness. My diet's pretty consistent. So who knows? But day six, feeling pretty good. This is the... Tomorrow is two weeks. So that makes this day 13 of uh, ketogenic. I haven't been strict and it's... And, it, and that's what this short video is about is like... It's tough whenever you don't stay in it. I had a meal one of my friends cooked for me and my girlfriend we went over and ate this meal and it kicked me out of ketosis over the weekend and I'm trying to get back in and it's slow going but when you bounce in and out like that it's not good because you you kind of re have to start over that whole transition where you feel crappy so I've been feeling crappy for about two days kind of low energy and crappy I think I'm starting to come out of it tonight and I'm, my keto strips are showing a little bit more ketosis tonight but not as much as I was in before so it's one of the bad things you got you got to stay kind of strict with it whenever you're doing it so hopefully tomorrow I'm back in a little deeper I've been eating good today there's my update another one of my favorite little snacks Celery sticks are low on carbs, very, very low carbs. So you can use those as a dipping tool, kind of like for peanut butter or maybe even some cottage cheese. I don't know. And then I like to put avocado, like I'll put a quarter of an avocado on one stick. And then I put salt, pepper, usually pepper too. Let's get the pepper. Yeah. Salt, pepper, and roasted garlic. So this is so good. Hits the spot. So today is Tuesday, which is officially two weeks. This is day 14 of being on ketosis diet. I've not been super strict. I've been as strict as I can be. It's hard. I had, I think I was in an earlier video, but I had a meal that a friend cooked for me and it wasn't super carby, but it was a little more carby than normal. And that pulled me out. And so I kind of loosened up a little bit and didn't do too well. And this was Friday, which would have been about four days ago. And I'm using the keto strips and I'm still not in good ketosis like I was the end of my first week. But 
I, I, today I've done super strict. Like I may have gotten 20 carbs today. And it does make you come back in and out of, of keto adaptation. Like I feel I've, I've felt shitty today and I'm feeling better. This is the end of the day. And I went to the gym. I've, I've got my gym clothes on. I actually went to the gym and did some workout trying to get, you know, the muscles going. But I didn't feel like it earlier this morning when I got done with work. I was like, there's no fucking way I'm going to go work out. And then I did start feeling a little better. Um, also, I tried the heavy cream in my coffee today, and it was pretty good, actually. I liked it. It adds calories to your day, but it makes the coffee really freaking good. And I put stevia in there to sweeten it. Anyways, check in later. So it's day 16, I think, now. And I'm more in ketosis now. I, I, this morning I did, I peed on the keto strips and it was the 80th, 75 percentile. So that's good. And I've been super strict today. So I should, st I ran out of keto strips. I need to order, I recommend you order those. If you don't get them from Walmart, order them from Amazon because Walmart's the cheapest. And I've been to three alternative stores and they want an arm and a leg for those damn things. So either get them from Walmart if you can find them if they're not out or order them from Amazon but I'm checking my ketone level and I'm staying pretty strict my overall weight loss at this point is about 12 pounds so I'm feeling good about it and I energy is okay I'm drinking three cups of coffee a day though and I mean I'm kind of using coffee as the appetite suppressant and energy booster I guess oh well whatever works one of my favorite meals Fried eggs, avocado, sautéed spinach. I put salt, pepper, and garlic powder on it. So yummy. So what I'll do is I'll come get my coffee from my local coffee shop. And I'll bring it home and I'll put some heavy whipped cream and some stevia in there. It keeps it keto friendly. So this is like a homemade um, dessert. That's a ketogenic dessert right here. It's on that wax paper. What it is, is I melt some coconut oil, like four tablespoons, teaspoons actually, I think it's four teaspoons, and then four teaspoons of the PB Fit. I put a little bit of stevia, not a ton, and some flax seed to help keep it together, kind of like binds it up. Mix it all up in a bowl and put that piece of paper over like a medium sized plate and pour it in there. And it hardens up in your fridge and forms this awesome freaking cookie that's about four carbs for the whole thing. Calorie wise, I, I mean honestly, I, I don't know for sure, but because of the oil and, and the peanut butter, they, they probably have, if I had to guess, about 250 to 300 calories for this cookie. It's so good though. It's, it totally satisfies my sweet tooth. A lot of times for dinner I'll have sardines in soybean oil. I get these from Aldi actually, and I think these taste the best, but I'll just eat a can, sometimes two. Um, and I may follow it up. If I don't eat this, I'll have my eggs, my eggs and avocado. And honestly, eggs or sardine is almost always my dinner. Lunch today, mushrooms, lettuce, shredded cheese, cucumbers, broccoli, purple onions, cottage cheese, boiled egg, banana pepper, just a couple. Good stuff. So today is two weeks, no, three weeks on the dot that I've been in the ketogenic diet. I haven't done fantastic, but I've done pretty good. Um, I am still in ketosis pretty well. I've come out of it a couple of times and I get back in it and it's a, it's a crazy, but the more you stay in it, the better it feels. So it's like coming in and out of it's not good for you because it gives you this yo-yo kind of effect where you feel good, you feel bad. And I feel pretty good. Um, I don't know if I've mentioned in my other earlier updates, but I'm doing three cups of coffee a day now, which helps keep my appetite down. So I'm eating really well. Plus, I'm using the ketone strips that read your urine and see how much ketones you have in your blood or in your urine. And that tells you what level of ketosis that you're in. And it's, it's pretty good now. So I've, I'm staying in, pretty, in ketosis pretty well. Still working out. Um, at least twice a week I'm going to the gym lifting weights heavy exertion and I'm, I'm losing f weight I'm not losing as much weight as I did the first week and a half to two weeks but it's not gained 
and my fat percentage of body weight percentage is going down too so it's good I'm gonna go for the full 30 days and you know at least do that see how it goes see you later okay this is what I was gonna show you about your ketones you get these strips there's 150 in this bottle and you pee on this right here and I'm trying to get it to where it's there we go see the color so the color matches up to about right there moderate so probably I'm in the moderate range I'd like to be in the large range and I've never been in like the super super dark but I have been kind of a hybrid between those two uh, uh, upper three but I'm happy with where it's at you don't want to be down here you don't want it to read trace tan negative you definitely want to get somewhere around here so I'm pretty happy with it where it's at these I got on Amazon for I want to say eight dollars for 150 of them and it's free shipping okay so this is day, it's been three weeks and two days. So 20, one, two, three, day 23. I've really discovered that if I'm in ketosis for sure, and I know that because I'm using the, the strips, but if I'm in ketosis and there's this hiking trail that I go out, out here, that's not very, it's not extremely strenuous. It's like a 45 minute hike. But if I hike that, like I'll lose a pound overnight easy and it's not even it's not even ultra strenuous it's just that my body's gotten adapted to like I guess use up all the fat in my system and then start to pull off my body so I'm definitely in ketosis um, I'm peeing at the about the 60th 70th percentile of those little strips and Went for a walk last night, woke up still in a, a even more ketosis than I was when I went to bed last night. So, um, incorporate some walking or anything, really. I'm still working out too. Like, I went to the gym yesterday and did shoulders and abs. And um, later, you know, I did, I walked and I'm still having my three cups of coffee a day. So, I'm going to have a summary of all this, by the way. So, this is, this is a very typical breakfast for me. It's four four scrambled eggs with shredded cheese, salt and pepper, coupled with coffee, of course. Very, very typical. So this is the weekend of my fourth week of doing the ketogenic diet. And I've had ups and downs, in and outs. Um, I'm feeling really, really, really good. I went to the gym today and I'm strong. Like I'm getting stronger. Every single time I go to the gym, it's actually increases 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 so I know people had said that they are concerned about being on a ketogenic diet that you won't be able to get gains in the gym or get strong because you're not getting really enough carbs I, I said it's bullshit because like I was leg pressing for a warm-up the whole you sit on the leg press machine and you push your legs out that machine I don't know what's called seated leg press I guess so I had all the weight which is I think 215 pounds is all of the plates on mine and that was just I did three sets of seven with that and then I went on squats. It's the first time ever working out that I've used the whole stack. So my point is I'm, I'm gaining strength. Um, I'm feeling good. I pretty much believe that I'm totally fat adapted now because I don't get those tired uh, in the middle of the day. Um, I get sleepy though because I drink caffeine and if you don't do caffeine back to back you get sleepy like anybody that's doing carbs or not carbs. Um, but I have enough energy to do my workout. I'm still going hiking. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but I go hiking and I, I, my fat body cut percentage, it does kind of do this because I'm consuming a lot of fat, which will make it register higher in fat unless my body's metabolized it. So my last day, Tuesday, I will go ahead and finish all my results and tell you how much weight I've lost and how much body fat percent I lost in a month of ketogenic diet. And I'm not going to say that it's been a perfect month, but I've been pretty good. I've been really happy with how much I'm staying in ketosis. So. All right, so I have gone 30 days doing my ketogenic experiment and trying to stick with the ketogenic diet. It's extremely hard. 
Like I'm going to tell you that it was really, 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 really a hard 30 days. Um, I came in and out of ketosis quite a bit. Um, I'll make other videos that kind of explain this a little bit better. The biggest culprit was my um, diet drinks. Well, uh, phenylal phenylalanine is the main ingredient in diet drinks, and it will kick you out of ketosis. So I kind of I kind of call that ketosis light. I kind of come out of ketosis and then by the evening I'm, I'm back in pretty hard as long as I'm just drinking water or if I'm using some of the approved sweeteners. I'll have a video again that's going to speak more of this. I learned a lot about it. I learned a lot about ketosis over this month period and how it affects you, how it affects your energy levels, how it makes you feel. Um, this video is mainly to was mainly to showcase the 30-day results of what I did with ketosis. I'm actually probably going to go another week or two before I go back to normal eating. I don't think that you, again, as I said at the beginning of this video, I don't think that ketosis is a natural state. I think that it's hard to not eat carbs. We evolved on carbs. Every, every, single, every single culture evolved on carbs, save maybe the uh, Eskimos who didn't have many much to choose from. But I mean, I miss carbs. I definitely want some. I want to make better choices as I reintroduce myself into carbs in the next week or two. Um, I've made some significant progress. I went down 2% in body fat, and my BMI dropped about a whole percent close to it. So I've dropped about, I mean, shoot, 10, 10 plus 12 pounds. And I feel pretty good. I, I really like uh, the fact that you... It's counterproductive to intuitive to what people think because you eat fat like a ton of fat and you lose fat. The biggest the biggest thing that I learned on this is that I still even though even though it's one of my my points that I try to make with people to focus on eating fat, I didn't eat enough fat. Like you really you can't just have low carbs. You need to have a high quantity of fat that you consume and and I think my protein should have been down just a tad and fat up even more. I was strong in the gym. I've, I've made some progress in the gym over this past month that I'm really proud of. I don't keep a meticulous um, notepad on my gym activity as far as what I do. But I mean, I do it kind of by feel and gauge. But I know where my plates are. I know where the weight measurement is. And I've really gotten stronger over this month. And I'm very happy with that. There's a theories out there that you can't gain any strength when you're in ketosis. And although be, I was in ketosis the whole time is arguable, I definitely came out of it a few times, but I was in it the majority of the time. If I had to give it a number, I'd say 70% of the time I was in ketosis. Also, uh, I, I, there's a couple of beliefs that I had about ketosis that I don't have anymore. I think that it really takes you longer than a couple of weeks, maybe even longer than two weeks to get into total ketosis and to be fat adapted. It's not a quick process. The reason I know this is because if I come out of it, I have a hard, hard time. And I can't imagine having your whole life that you're in ketosis or years that you're in ketosis. It's just freaking incredible. I mean, I can't do it. I mean, I've, I've tried. It's really, really hard. That's why I consider ketogenic um, a temporary kind of boost you back in diet. Um, it's hard on your kidneys if you don't drink enough water. It expels your body of salts and minerals. So, I mean, it, it's not a, it's not a, you want to stay in it forever. I do recommend it for when you reach stalls. I think that it can, has tons of good uses. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Um, I hope that it was informative and helps you make a decision whether you want to be in ketosis or not. All right. So as we come down here to look at the 30 day results, 27.6 is what it's measuring right now. 31.3 BMI after 30 days of mm, pretty good keto. I'm not going to say awesome, but pretty good. After the 30 days. All right, so here is a shot of my body after the 30 days in ketosis. 
you can definitely tell my hair my roots have grown out 30 days worth um, I I don't know I'll have to look at the side by side but I can see look at that bicep development like there's more defined just I'm not I'm not flexing I'm just look at this so I'm just spinning my wrist and I've always had this little smiley like cat smile belly but I don't know look how much of my buckles showing I guess I'll have to look at the side by side of myself but I feel again on my shoulders a lot of this definition on top has really gotten better I've lost you know like I said about two percent body fat which is pretty significant and my clothes fit better for sure starting to come out could do with a little more but it's starting to get there 